Hello guys, welcome to Statistics by 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. Now we are the discussion topic. Correlation matrix heat map with significance. A correlation matrix heat map with significance is a graphical representation of the relationship between multiple variable in a data set. It combines a correlation matrix, a table showing correlation coefficients between variable pairs with a heat map, a color coded visualization to make patterns easier to interpret. Additionally, significance levels are displayed, example using single star, double star or triple star to indicate whether the observed correlations are statistically meaningful. Correlation coefficients are measures the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables ranging from minus 1 perfect negative to plus 1 perfect positive. Heat map colors Typically, red indicates negative correlations, blue indicates positive correlations, and the intensity of the color reflects the magnitude of the correlations. Significance annotations Symbols like single star, double star, and triple star correspond to p value less than 0 0.05 for single star less than 0 0.01 is a double star and less than 0 0.001 is a triple star respectively which assess whether the correlation is likely due to change the correlation matrix heat map with significance how is it to used in biological science in biological science, correlation matrix heat map with significance are widely used to study relationship between variable in complex data set, making it a powerful explanatory tool for various applications for environmental biology, ecology, molecular biology, microbial ecology, physiology and medicines. So now our practical sections for how to create correlation matrix heat map with the significance the used to analysis tool for R studio the before the discussion for the data set so the data set already entered in the excel sheet so the open the data sheet so the this is the data we take for the 10 different size and 10 variables for species abundance and the parameter of temperature, pH, salinity, dissolved oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and turbidity. So the data how to create a correlation matrix heat map with significance. So the tools open for the R studio. Ok this is the R studio before the imported for the code file we already make the code so simplify for the code import to the r studio so open the file and uh, click to select for the code file then click to the open so this is the code file for we already make it so the first for the install the ggplat2 so the already installed the ggplat2 on the core plat options so the directly they are loaded for the library used for the library ggplat2 on the core plat2 so they enter the command for the console sections library ggplat2 The next one library pack added for the core plat.
So the next one step are the imported for the, the data set for Excel format. So import the data set, select to the from Excel file and click to the browse button and select to the our data file for the ecological data. Then click to the open button, import to the R studio. So the our data file imported in the R studio. So the next one code for the view the first few column of the data set. So enter the code for the head data. So the next one command for the structure of the data set. So enter the command for the structure of the data set. str enter under the data click to the enter so this is a structure of the data set next one for the checking the missing value for the our data set so this is a used to, to the column for the checking missing data click to the enter so the no data for the missing so the mention to the zero so the next for the remove non numerical column in the data set for example for the site name so we take enter the for the 10 site name so the remove for the numer non numerical column so the use the command for the numeric data enter so the next one for the calculate for the correlation matrix in the, our, the data set so the command correlation matrix the numerical data so the next one for the print the correlation matrix so get the output for the correlation matrix in the, our data set so enter the command print core underscore the matrix so get the out, output for the correlation analysis in the temperature, temperature, pH temperature and salinity temperature also. This is for the correlation matrix data. Next using for the basic heat map of the coral plant. So this is a code, code for the create the basic heat map in core plant. enter so created for the basic heat map for the core plot so this is a basic heat map so the next one used for the rabbis 2 so the installed the packages of the rabbis 2 already installed so uh, library lo lo loaded for the rabbis 2 So the next one created for the correlation matrix. So the next created for the plot of the heat map with ggplot2. So this is the code the created for the heat map with ggplot2. enter so created for the correlation matrix heat map used for the tool the ggplot2 the library package so the next for the create a heat map with values so enter the value for the heat map inside so this is a code enter so the enter for the value of the correlation matrix heat map so the this is for the da numerical data this is for the visualization data so the next one used for the calculate the correlations and the significance p value in our data so the hmis package installed so i already installed this pack so the loaded for the library
enter then next for the compute correlations under the p value so this is a code the compute for the correlation under the p value the next one for the extract the correlation matrix under the p value so the cor underscore the matrix the code used the console sections so the next one for the added the significant symbols so this is for the important of the the sections the single star is a value for the p value less than 0 0.05 the double star used for the 0 0.01 and triple star used to the 0 0.001 so the used to the code for the created the significant star so the next one for the adding the simple in the ggplot for the heat map so the next one for the combined correlations value under the significant stars so use this code for the combined correlations value under significant star Okay, the next one for the plot the heat map with the correlations value and the significant star added to, to the heat meta heat map of the correlation matrix. So the, this is a code for the add the significant star in the correlation heat map. Okay. Now added for the star of the significance in the heat map. So this is for the species B and the temperature is for the triple star mentioned and nitrogen and salinity is a double star mentioned for the significance. So the species C and the salinity is a single star. So the next one for the, the significance star and uh, the column name also add to the bold under large text so used to th to the this code the plot heat map with larger bold under labels okay click to the enter so the value for the bolded and larger text for the correlation matrix in the heat map so this is for the creating method in the correlation matrix heat map with the significance in the R studio. If you any doubt on this video section, leave me the comments in the comment box. I will reply to you. Uh, if you like this video, click to the subscription button. And uh, next one part of the interpretation of the correlation matrix heat map with the significance. I will upload for the another one video. That video link mentioned to the this video description box okay thank you for watching this video